What is up guys? This is Marcel from One Dapper Street and today I'm getting dressed for something very special. If you've been following me on my blog or Instagram for uh, more than huh, a year or so, even half a year, um, you know the Rat Pack photo shoot. So the first one I think we did one and a half years, two years ago in Times Square. Second one we did about a year ago in New York City's Lower, lower East Side. and. Today, I'm walking you through my outfit process for the next meetup, Rat Pack 3, which you may have already seen on Instagram, uh, since a few of my friends already posted some photos. But it's basically just uh, all of my New York blogger friends, or like just any blogger friends that are, uh, that are in town when we do these shoots, um, getting together, dressing up in suits, making some cool, like, dapper shit happen. So let me just walk you through. The suit that I wanted to wear is this um, Jay Lindeberg suit. It's, it's got a two inch cuff on it, very slim, very tapered, um, very modern, um, medium, light gray almost. It's a really cool suit, I haven't worn it in a while, so it was nice to bring that back out. And just right now, standing in front of the mirror and kind of thinking about what I could be doing. So the first thing that popped into my head were these loafers. They're um, tassel loafers from Russell and Brumley, a uh, UK brand. I'm going to give you a close-up of the shoes in just a second. Here we go. Just so you get a better view of them. And what I knew I wanted to add after that was the shirt that I'm wearing right now. This is a Tommy Hilfiger shirt. It's got a nice like indigo blue. And um, it's, you know, sim I, ke I kept it simple, I buttoned it all the way up, um, it's not a p pattern shirt or anything, um, I, I, I never want to stand out too much with the group shots, so it's kind of like something that's somewhat mellow. And then I jumped to the pocket square, and this was really just because I walked into my closet and I saw this, and I thought the purple could work really well, especially together with this tie. This tie's from Eton, and it ties in the purple as well as the blue, so it really pulled the look together super, super quickly in comparison to that look without the tie. Here you have a close-up of that. And uh, yeah, purple. I haven't done purple in a while. Might also be because I'm going towards fall now. And I don't know, purple is more of a fall color for me. Who, who knows? Um, so a couple of furnishings here. I got a rose gold um, tie bar and my rose gold black leather strapped Daniel Wellington watch with a white face, so tying the whole thing in also really, really well. Um, the thing about that though is that I have now a black leather strap and brown shoes, and that's actually something like I don't, I don't abide by a lot of rules, but that's something I don't do. So um, I might foresee a little change happening there very soon. And there it is. <laughs> so I went with my Tommy Hilfiger brogued wingtip derbies. Um, these derbies are, they're just beautiful. I haven't worn them in a really long time because they're fairly dressy and I don't dress up all the way. Especially because usually I don't wear socks. And here, as you can see, I chose to wear socks because it just looked weird without socks. It was just too much. Now it's getting a little heavy with the black, so I want to balance it out. And the black belt is, is, is was my way of, of trying that, at least. I got the black leather strap on the watch. I got the black belt and the black shoes. Should make for a nice little thing, but um, I don't know if you can see the discontent in my face right right about now. I am um, uh, even with shoes tied. I'm just not entirely happy. I think it's that the shoes are so classy, and like the tie and everything's so classy, but the suit itself is so modern and like a little bit more sporty. Um, one more thing that I tried, I thought maybe the rose gold threw me off because the belt buckle silver um, clashed with the rose gold of the tie bar. So I have a silver skull tie bar, but in the end, I decided to change what I started with. I changed the entire look by replacing the suit and making it a monochrome look with purple um, purple accents and like a black finish. And I really like that. It was, uh, I hadn't done that in a while, just, you know, building, building an outfit based on one suit and then just switching out the suit. But it just, the fit is more classic, it just works better and I don't know, I was just happy with it. I thought I could go for it, I tried it on and I liked it. So, I hope you liked today's video. Um, I urge you very much to check out the photos we took. James, my, my buddy James Creel, he uh, took the photos of the entire pack. And um, he did a great job, They're really cool photos. I love, I love my guys there. It was just cool hanging out and just having fun together. All of us are constantly doing the same thing, but we rarely are actually doing our jobs together. We, we hang out at a lot of events and whatnot. But it was cool, so um, check out the blog post. There you can also see the details for this outfit if you want to shop anything or anything similar to that if it's not in stores anymore or online. I try and find replacements for you. 
And if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up, tell your friends, um, share the video, subscribe to my channel if you aren't subscribed already, because I have a lot more coming for you guys. And I will see you very soon. Bye.